As we reported earlier, Pope Francis will canonize two shepherd children, Francisco and Jacinto, Jacinta Marto, during his visit to Fatima next month. The visit marks the 100th anniversary of the apparitions of Our Lady there, turning the tiny northern Portuguese town into one of the world's most popular Catholic pilgrimage sites. Joining us now is Michael O'Neill, author of Exploring the Miraculous, and you are also known as the Miracle Hunter. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. It's great to be with you today. It's a big day in the world of uh, miracles and canonizations. It certainly is. You know, last month, Pope Francis signed off on the miracle needed to make the siblings saints. What do we know about these miracles attributed to Francisco and Jacinta Marto? Well, of course, there's two. For every beatification and canonization cause, there are two miracles that are approved. And in the first case, there was the healing of a, of a girl who was a paraplegic, and she began to be able to walk after uh, praying to the, the uh, seers. And then this new miracle that has come up, it was a young Brazilian boy, and those details aren't yet released. I spoke with the vice postulator, Sister Angela Coilu, and she said that due to privacy concerns, they're not releasing yet the details of that great miracle that's leading to their canonization. So how does the church prove a miracle? You and I have talked about this before, but let's get a little refresher course. So it's so interesting. I always like to say it's almost a miracle that they ever find anything <laughs> that's a miracle. So they have all these criteria. The, the miraculous cure must be instantaneous. It must be permanent. It has to last more than five years. It has to um, go. It, there can't be any other explanation for why it, why it happened. And uh, it has to be shown to be the intercession of just those people who were being prayed to. So it's really difficult that they ever find anything at all that is. But uh, Sister Angela mentioned that they were so excited to actually have that validated on March 23rd by Pope Francis. We say miracle all the time. It's a miracle that the sun came out. It's a miracle that my son did his homework. Why is it important for us to acknowledge real miracles? Well, we all have miracles, big and small, uh, that uh, enrich our lives. But I think one of the things that's so exciting is how the Catholic Church proves that without doubt that uh, the miracle, there's no natural explanation. Science shows that, in fact, that uh, this is the working of God. So uh, it's very exciting to show that those criteria are applied strictly and uh, brings a lot of credibility to the world. How long has this been going on, the miracles in general? Oh, they, when you think about it, uh, Christianity, the foundation of Christianity is based on two great miracles, the, uh, the incarnation and the resurrection. So all the way to the beginning of Christianity. But uh, this has been validated by the church only in the last uh, several centuries. So this is a process that the Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith goes through each and every time and requires two miracles. And it's really an intense process and shows that the church takes it very seriously. Now, now the canonization uh, is going to happen in Fatima. What's the legacy of Fatima? Well, it's so exciting. This news was just announced today on April 20th that, in fact, the canonization will be going forward. And the legacy of Fatima is that it is the gold standard of all Marian apparitions. And for somebody who likes miracles, as I do, we have the approval of, of visionaries, more approved than any other visions in history, and the canonization of the visionaries themselves. So this is, in fact, the greatest uh, apparition and vision in the history of our Catholic Church. Michael O'Neill, author of Exploring the Miraculous, and he's the Miracle Hunter. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Lauren. For much more on the Fatima children becoming saints, visit our sister organization at catholicnewsagency.com.